hello to all of my amazing viewers. I'm feeling a bit of a rant coming on, so bear with me. There is in the online fan community a way of thinking that has gotten me seriously pissed off. You know the common phrase, never judge a book by its cover? Well, today, I am tossing out something into the great general ether we call the internet, and that is never judge a fan by their fandom. Let's lay out the facts. Just because someone ships an LGBT character does not necessarily make them gay, or vice versa. Just because someone likes a TV show that's generally aimed at teenage girls does not make them a teenage girl. All of us are deep, complex, multifaceted human beings with varying moods and emotions and tastes. I am here to tell you that I am Katherine Moreland. I read comic books, murder mysteries, historical romances, and classic philosophy. I enjoy Game of Thrones, RuPaul's Drag Race, and Lifetime movies. I have ships that range in their sexual orientation. I don't really see why any of these things are different than liking both hamburgers and salads. I mean, we have got to stop making assumptions about people based on what they read or watch. That information is a great jumping off point for conversation, but in no way resembles their life story. So stop acting like it does. Oh, she's <clears throat> ranting again. I've seen this before. It's not a big deal. Hey, what are the mean people of the internet doing? Just the same old shit <laughs> stuff. I really don't understand why you let them get to you. Because they're ruining the beautiful process that is geeking out. Okay, well, Isabella has something to talk to you about, so cheer up, chipmunk. Okay? Uh, okay. I'll leave you to it. Kate, you will never guess. So just tell me! Okay. Your brother said I love you for the first time, and he asked me to move in with him. Wait. You're moving to New York? Not you too. I mean, of course I'm happy for you. It's no, just... no, no. He's moving back to LA. Wait, do you mean Jimmy's moving here? Oh my goodness, that's so great! Well, not right away. He has some stuff he needs to take care of in New York. But then we're gonna look for a house. I'm just the happiest girl in the world. Wow, I did not realize you guys were so serious, but of course I could not be happier with his choice. And you know, this is just a stepping stone to a proposal, and then we'll be sisters, and then I'll get a full-time job here, of course, and then I'll get a house, and we'll just be one big happy family. Wow, it sounds like you've got it all planned out. Well, if I don't, who is going to? Kate, I'm so glad you approve. If I'm gonna find the love of my life, I'm really glad he comes with the great in-law for me. Likewise. <laughs> I'm gonna need you more than ever, Kate. Now that my brother is going back to New York and taking James with him, and they're leaving me here all alone because they obviously hate me. Well, didn't you just get done saying about how James said he loved you and that he's made you the happiest girl in the world? Mm. Oh, you're both here. Izzy, may I have a word with Kate? Absolutely. You two take all the time you need. Okay. Bye, sis. I'm a... Recording, that's not going to be a problem, is it? Oh, no, 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 it's just one of your quirks I gotta get used to. When you're in New York? <laughs> yes, and I, uh, I just came in because I knew you'd be disappointed if I didn't come in and say goodbye in person before I left. Yeah, it has been so nice getting to meet you, John. Yeah, and I'll come back to LA as soon as I can, if that's okay with you. I mean, sure, I know Isabella loves having you here. Sure. I mean, just Isabella. We're on the same page, right? Are we, though? <laughs> well then, I guess that's goodbye. <laughs> All right, uh, bye. Have a safe flight. Okay, and I'll be sure to change my Facebook status. I'm thinking it's complicated? Uh, what exactly is complicated? <laughs> You're too cute. Oh my god. I'll see you around, Kate. Bye. Oh. Funny.